to do a pick a card reading guys today we're asking what's next in love once again we're asking what's next in love we will not be doing an extended on this but keep in mind this is a general reading guys may not resonate with everyone should it resonate with you please like share subscribe to the channel leave your comments give me that thumbs up because you two be tripping 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 if it doesn't fit don't force it if it doesn't fit, let it fly. If it doesn't fit, you must have quit. Take the bits and pieces that resonate with you. Leave everything else on the dance floor. Move, walk your job ass on away from it. If you'd like to get a personal reading with me, you can find all of that information in the description box below. Shout out to uh, Love, Truth, and Wisdom Tarot. Thank you, thank you, thank you from the bottom of my heart for referring me i thought that was so awesome like you are such a great reader that touched my heart so thank you thank you thank you Sharnetta. thank you so much so if you'd like to book a life coaching session with me because i am a certified professional life coach meaning i went to school to study the art of life coaching just didn't stamp those initials on the back of my name you can find that information down below if you'd like to donate to the channel you can find my cash app, Sony Butterfly, or any other links down below to do so. And if you want to donate cards or crystals or anything like that, I'm still looking for a centerpiece. So leave a comment down below and let me know what kind of centerpiece I should get. Because my Buddha, I moved it and I put it somewhere else. So it's surrounding my family right now. So yeah. So leave that down below. So we have three choices before us today. Choice number one is going to be the God. Choice number two is going to be the heart. And choice number three is going to be the goddess. So on the count of three, we're going to take our deep breath. One, two, three. Pick your card. Is it going to be the God? Is it going to be the heart? Or is it going to be the goddess? All right. So people who chose the God universe. What's next for them in love? What's next for them in love? People who chose the God. What's next for them in love universe? Whoa. First card out. So done. Just so done. What's next for them in love, universe? People who chose the God. What's next for them in love? We have the document. What's next for them in love, universe? People who chose the God. What's next for them in love? We have bold move. Here we go. <laughs> What's next for them in love, universe? And we have rocking it. Bottom of the deck, we have reckless. You came in like a wrecking ball. What's next for them in love, universe? People who chose the God. What's next for them in love? What's next for them in love, universe? People who chose the God. What's next for them in love? People who chose the God. We have, ooh, four wands. What's next for them in love? We have the death card. What's next for them in love, universe? We've got too many cards. We have the ace of wands. One more. What's next for them in love, universe? Uh-oh. What's next for them in love? And we have the ace of cups. All right. This is interesting. And bottom of the deck, we have the Six of Swords. All right, so what's next for you in love? Someone that you walked away from or someone that walked away from you, okay? There's a separation here. So a good relationship, something in that you, you may have thought was in good standing. You guys were equals and counterparts and things just got really, really dark. I feel like there was an imba imbalance with the masculine way of being. Both of you all, um, or maybe the feminine was being over indulgent in the masculine energy, doing too much, trying to make things happen. And somebody got mentally tapped out here. I'll say it's you. Flip it if you need to, because I can't keep that story going like that. 
So you got tired, right? You got burnt out. You became exhausted with um, doing everything in this situation. And so you called it quits because you felt that things were being reckless and walked away from the situation, right? Because of the recklessness with the imbalanced masculine way of being, um, not an equal give and take, not actually doing anything. I feel like the person that you walked away from has um, gone through some changes and transformation since this dissolved, however it dissolved. And this person now has been thinking about coming in and making a bold move. So this person is going through a transformation where it is changing not only their um, outside, but their inside. So this person's appearance may have changed. This person um their heart may have changed their heart and mind may be bridged like the gap between the two may be bridged and there's just a sense of righting the wrongs of the recklessness right and so i feel like somebody is going to come in and make a bold move in order to come back to you i feel like somebody's going to ask the other person whoever walked away from the situation they're going to ask to go out on a date. They're going to ask to hang out. They're going to ask to go out and just have fun. They may want to take you um, on a date since outside is open. They might want to go outside and have lunch or dinner or something, buy a body of water or do something fun, something artistic, something creative, maybe fly kites or sit in a park or something that you've always wanted to do. I feel like this person is going to um, send a message or call you, but I really feel like it's going to be like a text or something like that. Um, and they're going to make a bold move to hang out with you because I do feel like this person has been watching you and just been seeing that you are just moving on, you're shifting on and you're really good with yourself. You're really good with just floating along by yourself and you're getting your energy back and you're getting your confidence back and you are building up your reserves again where you may have been mentally tapped out before or emotionally tapped out. You're like getting things back in in alignment. And so um, this person is going to be a little apprehensive about doing this, probably is apprehensive about it now, but this person wants to come back around and have new beginnings. And I feel like you have shifted on into newer heights, like higher elevations now. And so you guys are not equally yoked. You're not vibrationally aligned anymore. And so this person is going to try to use their sex appeal. They're going to try to use their uh, charisma their good looks, they're going to try to use all those things, their sense of humor to get you to come back down to their level. And the thing that you need to be aware of here is if you say yes, because I really think it's 50 50. I really, I, I don't know if you will say yes. Um, but this whole entire situation is going through a transformation. The thing that you need to keep in mind though, is that you can't go down to their level. They have to come up to your level because it's about evolution and, um, evolving right and so they need to rise to your level and so um i wouldn't play games necessarily with this person but i would definitely stand my ground and i i would advise you to stand your ground and to um continue enjoying life and continue being yourself and continue building your reserves and be aware of the red flags this time around don't just accept whatever this person gives um, because I can't see past the initial bold move. I just know that they want to spend some time with you. I can't see if they consistently want to. I can see that they've changed. They want to spend time with you and that in, a door is opening for a possibility for this entire relationship to transform, but it's up to them to consistently evolve and to continue to develop and grow versus um, whatever tapped you out, whatever made you emotionally spent in the past, they have to release that and stick with this transformation. But because they're doing a physical transformation and also a spiritual transformation, I feel like they will here, but there needs to just be um, a walking away from this recklessness and see, they see you as being confident. I told you they was watching you fake profile. They see you as being confident, but they want to have some type of new beginning here with you and possibly say some things that they've not said before, but say them like little bits and pieces here and there, because I don't feel like this person is just going to come right out and be forthright or forthcoming with you. Um, but I feel like they're going to, they're going to put their ego aside and step to you. But it's just a matter of them being open and honest about 
them missing you and apologizing too. I feel like that's on the horizon. So yeah, so that's what I see happening. So I hope that that helped and shed some insight into your situation. If you like to follow me on TikTok, where I do almost daily readings, the name is The Red Pill Pusher. If you like to follow me on Facebook, I have a group called The Brave Heart Experience. If you want to follow me on Instagram, it's The Red Pill Pusher with two H's in the push. And if you want to donate to the channel in any way, you can find all those links down below as well as booking a personal reading with me. And once again, I want to thank Sharnetta at Love, Truth, and Wisdom for the referral. Love you to death. Your channel is awesome. Go check her out. And if y'all don't do nothing else, stay down, y'all. It's a marathon. All right. So universe, we are shifting on to the heart. So what's next for them in love universe? People who chose the heart. What's next for them in love? People who chose the heart universe. What's next for them in love? What's next for them in love? People who chose the heart. What's next for them in love universe? Just saw 1111 on the camera. You got looking closely. You have invest. What's next for them in love? What's next for them in love, universe? Whoa, that jumped up to my freaking neck. Wicked. Sometimes I'm good at good and leveling up. Huh. Ain't that nothing. Bottom of the deck, secrecy. What's next for them in love, universe? People who chose the God or the heart. What's next for them in love? We have Queen of Pentacles. We have the Wheel of Fortune. We have the Two of Swords. Ooh, and the King of Pentacles at the end. Ain't that nothing? Look at what's in between, y'all. Queen, king, bottom of the deck, the hermit. I feel like this is about somebody having a crush on you or you having a crush on somebody. This is about um, a secret admirer or somebody who is just paying attention to you in the dark and you don't even know it. Um, it could be somebody... I'm feeling more so somebody new, but it could be somebody from the past. It's just a secret admirer. Somebody who is examining you, keeping an eye on you, watching you. Somebody who sees you glowing up. Somebody who sees you as a star in your own life. Um, this could be somebody that you work with. This could be somebody who has a crush on you um, and you all intertwine some kind of way at work. They see you as having a lot of heart though. And I feel like you are ready to move on. You have a choice between sticking with the past or moving into something new. And I feel as though you just feel like something more colorful, more lively is ahead of you. You're sick of dealing with um, just sexual encounters or just naughty people or mischievous people or, you know, red flags. Like you're sick of dealing with all of that. And I feel like you have invested a lot of time and energy into your growth and you consistently are and you're just ready for things to shift you're ready for um somebody to either make a move on you or something i feel like you feel that you've done the work and the work is never over right but like you want to get back out into the dating scene you want to level up you want to have like a real committed relationship with stability you want to be able to grow with somebody you want to be able to build with somebody and I feel like there's somebody watching you who feels the same way and who feels like you would be um, the perfect partner for them. Like the two of you all together could really do some things, but this person, this is all happening behind the scenes. This is something you don't know. Like whoever is coming into your life or returning to your life, they definitely have either seen you before or something like that, even if they're new. But you're just ready to take things to the next level. You're not wanting to revisit any relationship from the past and do it the same way. If things can't be renewed or if you can't have like a new 
um, type of relationship where it's mature and you can communicate and you all invest in one another and you travel together and you do things together, you don't want it. You don't want it. If you can't face your darkness together, if you can't, you don't want it, period. You don't want it. You don't want a secret relationship. I don't feel like you need to be posting on Instagram and this and that every two seconds, but you want to have a relationship that is open, that's out there, um, that is mature, that is spiritual in nature. You want a grounded relationship and you want somebody to meet you on your level. You don't want to dumb yourself down. You're not asking for a sugar daddy or a sugar mama. You want somebody who will meet you on your level and who is willing to invest in this and to grow. So yeah, see, and, and I feel as though this person sees you as being blocked. Like this person is intimidated by you in some kind of way because this person knows that they can't step to you any kind of way, whether new or old, this person knows that they can't step to you any kind of way. And, and they know that you've been hurt or something whether they're watching you on social media or something like that like they know what it's taken for you to get to where you are and this could be a friend of yours they know they know like what you've had to do the hell that you've had to endure the inner work that you had to do in order to get to where you are they're very much aware of that and they know that they have to step to you righteously you know they have to step to you um righteously i to say that you know and be able to shift through this darkness and so what's next for you in love is you continue to level up and and why you while you do that there's a secret admirer who is doing the same thing and so eventually you guys are going to have to meet um but i do feel that there's going to be a shared heart here and i i do feel like this person who is coming into your life or returning into your life is going to be leveled up with you. They're not going to play any games. Mm -hmm. And there's going to be a shift here. So, yeah. So, yeah. So that's what I have for you. I hope that it helped and shed some insight into your situation. If you like to follow me on TikTok where I do almost daily readings, the name is The Red Pill Pusher. On Facebook, I have a group called The Brave Heart Experience. And on Instagram, it's the red pill pusher with two H's and a push. If you don't want to follow me nowhere, because you know my ass is lost too, you show ain't gotta. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much to Love, Truth, and Wisdom, Tarot, Sharnetta. Thank you so much for referring me. Like, you are so awesome. Please go check our channel out because she's awesome. Her readings are awesome. I watch them all the time. We don't do nothing else. Just stay down, y'all. It's a marathon. I need a jingle for my channel. It's a marathon, bitch. No, let me stop. Okay. <laughs> All right, moving on. See, universe. Goddess. The goddess. What's next for them in love, universe? People who chose the goddess. What's next for them in love? What's next for them in love, universe? People who chose the goddess. What's next for them in love? People who chose the goddess. What's next for them in love, universe? One card at a time. What's next for them in love? We have friendship. Whoa, they just popping right up. We have staying in. Somebody don't want to be bothered. What's next for them in love, universe? Ooh, Mr. and Mrs. Fix It. And <laughs> somebody don't want to be bothered because your ass thought the grass was greener on the other side. And it wouldn't. What's next for them in love, universe? People who chose the goddess, read number three. What's next for them in love? Whoa. We have temperance. What's next for them in love, universe? We have the two of wands. And 
You have the Five of Cups. You have Death. And at the bottom of the deck, you have Four of Wands. Okay. Well, what's next for you in love is somebody that you were friends with. Somebody that you had a relationship or a situationship with somebody that you were good friends with, where your foundation was friendship. And I feel as though something happened where there was a loss here. There was separation. There was distance. This person thought the grass was greener on the other side. This person never fully committed to you. This person never fully gave of themselves, like never fully was all in. They always had one foot out of this situationship. And I feel like you spent a lot of time alone, a lot of time discovering yourself. You might have begged this person to hang out with you or really thought that you all had the opportunity to build up on this. But this person never allowed that to happen. This person never allowed this connection to get off the ground. And so... You continued to focus on yourself, you know, you continue to live your own life. And I feel like you were very sad about that. You were very sad about this person and their choices, but you made the choice to choose yourself because this person was really making a fool out of you, quite honestly. This person was just like making you linger, having you hold on while they go and sow their royal oats or, you know, see how many fish are out in the sea and... You know, they wanted to go free willy and all that bullshit. So this person, while they were checking out the grass in the neighbor's yard and figuring out it was sod, you just kind of stabilized yourself. I don't think that that was without any pain. And I don't think that it was easy. But I think that you feeling lonely in a connection just took a toll on you. And you stopped reaching out. You stopped putting in effort. You stopped giving energy to this connection. And this person has since realized that you were always there for them. You always had their back. You were always um, just their ride or die, you know, and you never put them through any of the hoops and, you know, made them jump over these hurdles that they did. Like you didn't play games with this person. You were very real with this person. And but you play all their games to make them feel more comfortable, to make them trust you. You did all these things. And so there's a transformation happening with this person and this person wants to come back around and they want to fix things like this person is longing for you they really are longing for you and they want to make things right again but i think that you are going to be stuck between two people because you not only have the opportunity uh, for a renewal with this person who thought the grass was greener, who wants to fix things with you, but you also have an opportunity for somebody else from your, it's somebody else from your past. So you have like two people from your past. One is like really open hearted and maybe you guys have started talking again. You know, maybe, you know, you guys have just started DMing or texting or something light. You might hang out with this person, but then there's another person from your past that you really wanted to build something with that it just didn't work out. So you have your choice between two people. And I feel like there's going to be a lot of change within you too. Because you're not willing to go back through these cycles where you give and give and give to a connection only to feel lonely at the end of the day. And so, yeah, see, glam it up. Glam it up in our fam. So you going to be asked on a date from somebody else because you're feeling good and you're sending out these great vibrations and you might just friend zone this other person from the past. But either way, it's somebody from your past coming back around. See, you got back together. There's somebody from your past. It's two people from your past coming back around. One is just like clean slate. Y'all just talking again, a friend from the past or something like that. And y'all are going to continue hanging out. And another one is somebody that you wanted to build something with. And so you're going to have to have to make a decision between the two because that person from the past that you had a connection with where you felt lonely in that connection, they really are missing you and they're regretful of things. I don't see that this person is coming to apologize. I feel more so this person just wants to move on, just kind of like they want to fix it. But the way that they want to fix it is they don't want to address things from the past. They just want to do right going forward, right? Because they know that it brought a lot of heartache to them. And this person has grieved this relationship on their own. And so it, there's a sense of this person doesn't want to 
<laughs> they kind of want to maintain control in that they don't want you to fully understand just how hurt they were over their mistakes because they were a dumbass. So it's kind of like that. It's like they want to sweep that under the rug because they don't want to revisit that. And it's, it's like, this person is very logical. So they're like, you and I both know I fucked up. So why do I need to keep sitting here and say that I fucked up? And I don't think that you want to put them through the ringer in admitting anything because I think there'll be a sense of accountability, but there will be like this energy of let's just move on and I'll do right going forward. You know what I mean? So you're going you're gonna to have two people who want you. Two people who want you. Yup. So yeah. So we'll continue to do energetic updates on these. So that's what I have for you. I hope that that helped to shed some insight into your situation. If you want to follow me on TikTok where I do almost daily readings, the name is The Red Pill Pusher. If you want to follow me on Instagram, it's The Red Pill Pusher with two H's in the push. And if you want to follow me on Facebook where I do... Or I have a group, it's called The Brave Heart Experience. That's all cool. If you want to book a personal reading with me, information for that is down below. And go and check out Love, Truth, and Wisdom Tarot with Shanetta. Thank you so much for the referral. Love you to death. Her channel is awesome. And if y'all want to do nothing, just stay down, y'all. It's a marathon. <laughs>